All right, good day everybody. This is Matt Webb with UT Extension Marshall County. Uh, we're here on a beautiful spring day. Wanted to talk to you about rain barrels, uh, how they are used in, for our case, of watering our livestock, but we also use it for the garden. And so this is a good activity, something that you can use around your place. So I have my heifers here with me today. They help me put all the pipes together and helped me with the design and various things that went with it. And my heifer here, he came up with some steps as we were, as we was working through that. And will you mind telling me again what those steps are? Design, build, test, improve, celebrate. Okay, so the design, build, test, improve, and celebrate. Okay, we had to do a lot of improving too, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. so, once we got all that done, we did get to celebrate when we found out that everything worked with the way that it was supposed to work. So I appreciate my helpers. They're going to step out of the camera now. And they did a real good job of helping me with this project. Okay. So to tell you what we got here, we got two of the IBC totes. Both of these are 275 gallons. So we have 550 gallons of capacity here. Uh... All the things, all the pipes and stuff you can find at any hardware store. Um, for our particular design, uh, we use three inch PVC on the barn, coming off of the barn, and then all the pipes that went into the tanks were two inch. And so the way I designed mine is that I have a flush that's coming off of the barn that's collecting water, because we have a lot of pollen that collects on the roof of these barns, and it'll be the same for your house or shops or anything else. And so instead of having all that run into our tanks, we have it run into here first. And if you'll get up here close, you'll notice I still have this dripping. I don't want that absolutely tight because I want that water to eventually come out of this. And so there, there is an end there that I can screw off to clean that out if I want to. But what happens is as the water starts to fill this up, it gets to that joint and then that water starts to work its way into, into the tanks. And on my particular design, I have it open on both the bottom and the top. And so the way it works is the, as the rain and the water comes into the tanks, both the tanks are going to pretty much fill simultaneously as they go up. And so once they get to the top, it's going to hit that top pipe system, and then that excess water is going to have an overflow over here. Okay. We leveled this, we put pallets up under these so they're up off the ground. Um, a couple of features that I added to, to this is that eventually you are going to have stuff that's going to enter the tanks that you're going to want to drain out. So I did put a two inch ball valve down here on the end. So if the tanks ever start to get nasty, we can, uh, we can open it up and, and let that come out of the tanks. The other end is just an ordinary garden hose valve and we have a garden hose that as you'll follow me you can you can follow me to the tank um, we have sheep on our property so we do a lot of rotation of grazing with those sheep on our pasture so this is a movable water source for us so as they're moving from one block to the next we can move the water with them so and this is a gravity system. There's no electricity, there's no gasoline or anything that's associated with this. So we're, everything has to depend on gravity. And so everything's gotta be, your water needs to be high so it can flow down to where you need it to go. So keep that in mind as you're designing this thing. So we come to the tank, the tank has a float valve in it. You can get the float valve at any farm store. And uh, so you'll get up here a little close. You can see that there's your float valve there. And as that water fills the tank, then that float valve rises up and closes the water off. And so probably in our case, it, you know, between the totes and all the parts that went with it, this cost about $250 to install. We are on the county water system, so this was just an idea for us to try to get the at least what the sheep needed off of off of our bill and so i hope this was a help to you if you have any questions you can um you can 
uh, send us our questions by UT Extension Marshall County on our Facebook page. And I hope that everybody has a good day, and I hope this was a help to you.